Bonjour mes amis! I say hello in French for a reason today. Today we are going to make true delicious very French croissants. From making the dough to baking. Let's go! The dough contains yeast and we need to get yeast prepared. We'll need warm, not hot, just warm water. Check it with your finger. Add a little sugar, stir well and add dry yeast. Stir once more and leave it for about 10 minutes. Let the yeast activate. There is no way you can prepare this dough without flour. We'll need a lot of flour and a little salt and sugar. Mix it well with your hands and once mixed, make a well in the center. When the yeast is activated, pour it into the well. Add some warm milk, which must not be either cold or hot, just warm, and start mixing the dough gently. It's better to knead the croissant dough manually, avoiding using a mixer. Once the flour is moist, add soft butter. Once the butter is fully integrated, the dough stops sticking to a mixing bowl. Transfer the dough to the table. You don't need to powder it with flour. Start kneading the dough, kicking it a little. Knead the dough gently but thoroughly. It needs to be kneaded until smooth. Once kneaded, shape the dough into a rectangle, cover it with a plastic wrap. The better dough rectangle you get, the easier it will be to roll later. Put the dough into a fridge to rest for 4 hours minimum, or leave it for a night, 12 hours or even for a day. You'll need to get butter prepared as well. Get it out of the fridge beforehand to get it soft enough. And we'll also need a piece of parchment paper. Transfer the butter to the center of the paper and start mashing it, shaping it into something more or less flat. Then fold the sides of the parchment paper to shape a square and using a rolling pin spread the butter inside the paper envelope. As a result, you need to get a well-shaped butter square. Spread it thoroughly so it would fill all the space inside the envelope. Look what a well-shaped butter square I've got. I'll put it into a fridge. I'll need it when the dough is ready to be rolled. So the dough has rested enough and butter is ready. You need to get them out of the fridge beforehand. The dough and the butter must be equally elastic. Get them out of the fridge and leave for about 10 minutes before rolling. Powder the table surface with flour. Transfer the dough rectangle, powder it a little with the flour, and using a rolling pin start rolling the dough until you get a rectangle twice as big as the butter square. You can measure it with a butter square or even get a ruler. Don't get the dough from the fridge too early. It needs to remain cool, so it would be easier to roll it. Put the butter square over the rolled dough and lock it inside the dough. Powder with flour, brush any excess flour. Notice the way your dough is placed. Choose one side where you have the rolled side. I choose it to be the right side and further I stick to the same way. Now we need to roll the dough and butter. Seal the edge it at one side and then at another. Lock it everywhere. And now from the center to the edge in one direction, I mean in two directions towards yourself and back, roll the dough to get the dough rectangle again, but this time with the butter rolled in. Now you do it this way. Fold the upper edge to get visually one-third of the rectangle and fold the lower edge to get two-thirds. Roll the dough a little, especially in the connection point, and now fold it at the center. We already have four layers of butter and eight layers of dough. The folding and layering process for croissant dough is called tourage. Cover the dough into the parchment paper or plastic wrap and allow it to relax in the fridge for one hour. The dough had its rest and it's about the time to continue the tourage. Spread the table surface with flour. Transfer the dough, the folded edge uh, is at the right side. Roll it to a thin rectangle. Keep the rectangle of the same thickness, gently but thoroughly. And to avoid boredom, you can see something French, of course. Je ne veux pas travailler, je ne veux pas déjeuner. And then the folding is done this way. Fold one of the outer thirds over the middle third. Fold the remaining third over the folded dough. Squeeze it a little. Cover it with a parchment paper or plastic wrap and let it rest in the fridge for one hour. The dough is finally ready. It's time to have it rolled and cut to croissants. Transfer the dough to the table surface, powder it with the flour, powder the dough and brush the excess flour and slowly, in controlled movement, roll the dough carefully, avoiding tearing thinnest layer. Roll the dough until it's thin. You might need to spend more efforts for the last dough roll. The final dough layer must be 4-5 mm thin, 28-30 cm wide and 65-68 cm long. And now shape the dough rectangle 
to several triangles with a base of each triangle 8 cm. Cut the dough either with a sharp knife or with a dough cutter so you wouldn't tear the dough apart. And now we need a baking sheet covered with a baking paper. Pull each triangle a little and stretch a triangle base. Make a little cut in the middle of the base. Get the base sides and start rolling across some. Pull in another side. Once rolled, shape it into a crescent and transfer to a baking sheet. Once more, make a cut and get the side and roll shaping into a crescent in the end and transfer to a baking sheet. You don't want to get a lot of them into a single baking sheet. Six pieces maximum. They will rise and each must have enough space. You can prepare the croissants in advance and leave them in a fridge for 12 hours. Then transfer them for a baking sheet and leave for 90 minutes. Or you can freeze them where they'll be kept frozen. You'll just need to defrost them on a baking sheet and leave to rise before baking. Once transferred to the baking sheet, cover the croissant with a plastic wrap just lightly. Leave it at a room temperature for 60-90 minutes to rise about twice the size. Don't hurry. The oven is heated up to 200 degrees Celsius before baking them. Get an egg, whisk it, and carefully cover croissants with the eggs to get beautiful gold crispy crust. Transfer the baking sheet into the oven and bake the croissant for 10 minutes. Then reduce the temperature to 185 degrees and bake 12 minutes more. They should rise and get golden brown crust on the top and bake well inside, of course but don't let them burn. It smells here like in Paris. Now leave the croissants a little rest on a baking sheet and then transfer them to a rack to prevent overcooking. But don't let them cool completely. It's not the right thing to do. I don't exaggerate it. Crusty crisp and they're so tender and airy and the slayers. To be honest, croissants made at home like this are much better than in French bakeries. As always, you can, you can find the step-by-step -step recipe in my blog cookingtime.ru. The link and the list of ingredients are below the video. Don't hesitate to like the video, subscribe. My name is Sasha, Cooking Time. Пока, пока. Uh, have a nice stop flight. <laughs> Hello everyone. Don't be surprised to see me with my bicycle here. It still is winter, it's cold enough, and the bike um, is only as a decoration here. And this is just a little intro for the bigger movie about our bike trip and friends we did earlier this year.